This is problem 3.14 from Brigham and Houston Fundamentals of Financial Management, Concise Ninth Edition. Uh, you're given a balance sheet and an income statement for this particular firm and asked to compute several items. Net operating working capital for 2015 and 2016. All right. So 2016, 2000. 15. Net operating working capital is defined as current assets minus all non-interest bearing current liabilities. All right, so notes payable is an interest bearing, so we'll leave it out, but the accruals in the accounts payable are non-interest bearing. All right, so 65,220 for that year and 56,000 for the prior year. What was this firm's free cash flow? All right, now you there are a lot of definitions of free cash flow uh, that look a little bit different than the version used by uh, our good folks here at at Brigham and Houston. All right, so their particular brand is found on page 77 of the textbook, and uh, it's, a, it's a formula. Bottom line, free cash flow is the net operating profit after tax plus uh, add back the depreciation. So that's the what we'll call after tax operating cash flow minus uh, any expenditures on capital needed to keep up with the business. All right, so if we go with net operating profit after tax, that would be operating income times one minus the tax rate. And then we want to add back the depreciation because we didn't actually pay that. And then from this total, what we want to do is subtract capital expenditures and after-tax operating working capital. Okay, or the change in that operating working capital. And down here to the balance sheet, the investment in net property plant and equipment we started with 46,000 okay and then we depreciated it by 6,000 So that'd be less depreciation plus new purchases equals ending PPE. All right, and I know that the ending PPE if that's the beginning. And that's the end. And I know depreciation was six thousand. And to get the amount that I spent, beginning PPE less depreciation. Well, let me not use less minus DPR plus purchase equals. In PPE. So, in order to get the purchases, that'd be equal to in PPE minus beginning PPE, then add back the de the depreciation. Okay. So, ending property plant and equipment minus beginning property plant and equipment, then add back the depreciation expense gives me $8,000 of new purchases. All right, so that comes 
that's the money that we earn from the operations but we got to take some of that money and buy new property plant and equipment with it to replace the property plant and equipment we're using up the change in the net working capital is also money that I had to spend on my operations. So my, uh, I've already subtracted the capital expenditures and now this is the net working capital expenditures and that's my free cash flow 15,180 during a year. I basically reproduced this statement of shareholders equity below. All right, but it just looks at what why did the equity account change from 76950 to 86220? Well, we had some addition to retained earnings. There was no change in the common stock and no shares were issued or retired. So that's the statement there. All right, now economic value added is also a formula, and this is found on for this particular uh, edition of the textbook on page 81. And so we just plug in their variation. Their variations on all these formulas, Brigham and Houston is, is not the de de define, the definer of all these, so different people have different ways of calculating it. They're all similar, though. It's how much money did they add minus the cost of the money they used to, to do it. So we take operating income, or EBIT, times 1 minus the tax rate, and that's the money coming in less the share that we had to give to Uncle Sam. And then we want to subtract from that the invested capital, times the rate that we pay on invested capital. Invested capital would be interest-bearing debt, which is the notes payable and the long-term bonds, plus the shareholders' equity. All of that costs 10%, and that's given in the problem. And that gives me an economic value added of $15,078. Part E, what was the market value added at the end of year 2007-16? Assume that its share price was $25. Okay, well, I know that there's 4,000 shares, and they are worth $25 a piece. So the shares are worth $100,000 to get the market value added. I want to subtract the book value, which is the value that was contributed by the shareholders. So that's the MVA, 13780